league is Matt Vaskersian. I mean, baseball is a what have you done for me lately proposition. And the Braves proving that you're only as good as your last game. Same for the Phils. The Phillies have the momentum now. Very low last week, on fire this week with five in a row. And it was that play last Sunday to end the game. That's got them going. Very excited to see them get this thing together. Yeah, let's dig in a little deeper on the Phillies lineup. As far as it's been hit and miss at points this year, there are two known commodities in the middle of it that might make up the best 3-4 combination in all of baseball. If there was an All-Star game this year, these two guys would certainly be there representing the Phils. They've been solid all year long. Combined 16 home runs, 46 RBIs in only 28 games. They come out and play. They play hard. They're vocal. They're leaders. The Phillies have maybe the best 3-4 combo in baseball. Deal with the Phillies 3-4 combo during this five-game winning streak is that they haven't really been a part of it, which I would imagine is good news for the Phillies. Yeah, when they get this whole thing together, and now with the bullpen rolling a little bit, they're going to be very difficult to play, especially in October. Yeah, let's talk about the Braves for a moment, because last Sunday when we had this matchup, we didn't have a healthy Ronald Acuna Jr. to talk about. He was on the IL with a wrist injury. Wednesday, he came off the shelf, and in his first at-bat back, proved to everybody that the wrist was feeling fine. A 473-foot homer against Garrett Cole, no less. I mean, this young man, Ron, Ronald Acuna, only 22 years old, he can be the first 45-45, 45, 45, 45 home runs, 45 stolen bases. That's how good he is. Bray's manager told us today he's working hard, he's hitting lefties, he's got tremendous upside, and he's only getting better. He's fun to watch. He'll be fun to talk to. Are you ready to play translator tonight? I can't wait. <laughs> we're we're going to talk with Ronald Acuna Jr. We're going to do so in Spanish. Alex is, notably. He's not only 12-1 with an 0.75 ERA. Now, it's five years later. Jake Arrieta is 34 years old, but he showed in his last start against the Washington Nationals he's capable of shutting down a good lineup. Matt, back to you. Yeah, Buster, 2015-16 when Arietta was at the height of his superpowers, one of the most memorable moments in Sunday night baseball history. Jake, this year at 2-3, and three, his best start of the season came against these Braves. Six innings of three-hit shutout baseball back on August 8th. Looking to even up his record at 500 tonight. Let's get to the Braves' Taco Bell starting lineup. This is how Brian Snicker aligns his guys looking to avoid a sweep here in Philadelphia. We highlight Adam Duvall as he was held out of the lineup yesterday with a sore Achilles. Back out there today, just two for his last 15, and trying to find some middle ground between some very unusual splits. Very good at home. Not as effective on the road where he bats tonight, of course. Taco Bell starting lineup for the bottom of the inning. We highlight Reese Hoskins, who's homered three times in his last five games and has seemed to have put a slow start behind him. Phillies 9-2 and two against the NL East. And uh, some of that beef, that big number, has been made possible by a lineup that is averaging almost five and a half runs a game third best in all of Major League Baseball. Well not the guy they thought they were going to fit that point Tommy Malone was still property the Baltimore Orioles acquired this morning in a deal with the Atlanta Braves they sent him to Philly on a private plane got him here in time to start he probably hasn't even introduced himself to half of his teammates and he's on the mountain.